about his internet data and why do you pay for it? What you use your device for will determine how much internet data you use. When you have a smart device, this can connect to the internet and you want to connect with everyone around you, where they are at the comforts of your home, with your friends doing schoolwork or at your company's premises and on the move etc. This is what you'll need, internet data. Welcome to Boundless Shift Channel. Consider internet data in the following way. It is the internet's gasoline. To be streaming live videos, listening to music, playing games, uploading and downloading any content on the internet, it is because of the amount of data that will determine how long you must be doing that. I believe you all know why we need internet data. If not, the video will instantly provide an answer. First and foremost, I want to explain two important differences. Wi-Fi broadband and mobile data. To be clear, Wi-Fi broadband is internet connection that is powered by either VDSL, DSL, ADSL or fiber. This is normally connected via a broadband network. When I'm mentioning broadband, these networks are typically used by large enterprises for internet connectivity and other purposes. This can include government agencies, social institutions, businesses, and so on. Mobile data. This is the energy that's your mobile device, which can be a smartphone, tablet, laptop, and other devices, consumes to connect to the internet. Frequently, while you are not near a Wi-Fi hotspot, mobile data is typically purchased with your cell phones at time for prepaid purchases, either as a one-time data bundle available only to prepaid or a recurring data bundle also recharged after 30 days. However, there is a wireless LCK alternative available while switching from ADSL to Fiber. Long-term evolution is a 4G wireless communication technology that aims to give smartphones, tablets and other mobile devices the fastest internet connections possible. Other alternatives may be available based on your location. Now, I believe you can inquire as to provides internet data. Telecommunication and internet service providers are companies involved. Your internet service provider is your portal to the internet and anything else you can do online. Everything you can accomplish on the internet is because to major cooperations that serve your country and other parts of the world. Some examples include MTN, Telcom, Afrihost, Virgin Mobile, etc. Why do you pay for internet data? This is a question I encountered and I hope it will benefit a lot of us. Internet service providers which are your ISPs bill you for the infrastructure they provide, not the internet. The cost of infrastructure is determined by these three factors. Fixed building or hardware costs, variable expenses of building or hardware maintenance, fluctuating electricity costs. So while you aren't paying for the data directly, you are paying for the infrastructure that allows internet service to be provided. This includes overhead costs for involved personnel, sales and marketing commissions, administration, and so on. Please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. If you appreciated this video and would like to see more interesting content like this. This has been presented to you by Boundless Shift. Thank you.